So my name is Chris Butler. I'm 54. I have a wife. We've been married for at least 17 years. Don't hold me to that. I always get that wrong. Two daughters. You don't know how long you've been married? I said 17, <laughs> 17 years. 17 years? We've been together like 25 years. <laughs> you never told me that. We, we both always forget our anniversary. Her oldest child's almost 18. <laughs> That's fair. When you're faced with this terminal disease, they map people out that it's like two to five years after diagnosis. A lot of things that you cherished, you can no longer do. I was a, a very avid cyclist. I was racing mountain bikes, I was wind series. We made some documentaries, direct commercials. I love music. I was a major new romantic, new wave guy. We had a band called Banga. I was the bass player. We toured open for a bunch of 80s bands. I was really worried that how will I relinquish this? Because that was how I had so much of my identity. I never suffered. I didn't really have an understanding of how tough some people have it in life. So I started a very deep and powerful Buddhism practice. And Buddhism is really focused on what they call bodhicitta, where you're intended to put others first. This was an interesting event that created enlightenment for me. I mean, in some ways, it's been a gift. I refused to allow anger to own me. I reframed my disease and changed everything to say, how do I focus on other people? And the ironic story is a couple of years after diagnosis, my wife asked a question. She said, what kind of memorial service do you want? And I said, well, I want a flipping rock concert. I don't want any kind of sad memorial thing and she kind of came back and said well, why are you going to wait till you're gone so through this i was able to procure like 14 bands and they're all invested just for the cause is we're doing the proceeds to the brigands brigade their uh, organization here oj brigands was a raven he was diagnosed with als in 2008 what they really focus on is creating grants for needs people have that insurance won't cover, whether it's modifications to the house or in-house caretaking. The ability to help people get the backing they need to be able to live the best quality of life they can with ALS. So I sort of had a two-fold ambition. I wanted to help raise money to help others but I wanted to have a really great, memorable time working with close friends as we all got together to help others. I found if you give people an easy way to try to help others, people's hearts are really big. We've had an insane amount of support. We're making this sort of a legacy where my family would take this over We'll do this for multiple years. Nothing can give you more joy than trying to help others. I look back and I always had a logo that was on the No Regrets Tour. I lived on a dude ranch. I moved to San Francisco. And I try to impart this on my kids the best memories are the risks that I took to go out and discover myself. So my life has been full of many, many journeys. It's been a wonderful life and I hope we're able to continue to enjoy it for some time. And, and uh, my message to everybody is take risks, 
you know, that's what's going to be with you forever. Your friends, your relationships, and your adventures. That's what holds value in your life.